Good morning, Nasty Red. Good morning, Dooley. Big Stinky. <laughs> and good morning, First Gen. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic today. We are actually in the barn with Nasty Red about to do... It's been so long, guys. A light bar. This would be a good time because I just finished up the horsepower stuff on Nasty Red. So I want to take an easy day because yesterday I was out here for a long time. Let's get her opened up. Just a reminder, I have a P.O. box and I'm one of those people that like, I'm always hungry, but I, I don't really get to eat much because I'm always out in the shop. But if you guys would like to send in, I don't know, like some kind of gift cards for food or something, that'd be awesome. Just putting it out there. No pressure. P.O. box always in the description below. The brackets that came with this one are actually like heavy duty steel brackets, not the typical plastic ones you get with most light bars. But look at this thing. What? I mean, it looks so nasty. I'll try to leave a link for this down in the description below for you guys to go pick one up. If you guys are interested in this sweet freaking light bar. Okay, so we've got dad here. He's got kind of like this hair thing going on, you know. I worked on that. Yeah, does it doesn't look good? <laughs> yeah, does it look good? It's looking perfect. The last time he heard nasty, right, it had this strange tick, 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 like really, really loud sound. It was kind of annoying. We kind of knew from the start that it was exhaust due to only being there immediately after putting the manifold back on. But it was just a little gap. Like I said in yesterday's it. video, it was just paying attention to the fine details and make sure everything was sanded perfect and everything. And like super late nights working on it, just kind of small mistake, but it ended up working out. So what I've been looking for online is when we were down in Florida and we were talking with Jake, he mentioned getting a boost controller. So I've been trying to figure out which one might be best for this application so we can have an in-cab boost controller, um, which apparently is the easiest way to be able to, in co most cost-effective way to be able to increase the boost pressure from where it is stock up to right around 25, I think is where we want to be. Also, by the way, that light bar that I had, now I remember why I told him to send it, is because we needed it for this truck. He's gonna take Nasty Red to work because it needs fuel anyways and he can drive it without the exhaust leak to get an appreciation for it. Then he's gonna leave the King Ranch with me so I can put the light bar in the bumper. Man, I love that truck. I'd love to own a 6.7. Guys think I hate power strokes, but I, I love 7.3s and 6.7s. I just I just don't like 6.0s and 6.4s at all. Just not my preference. everybody so I'm out here with the King Ranch we were actually gonna mount that light bar to the nasty red and I was like uh, that wasn't even for the nasty red now that I remember it was for the King Ranch before I even mount it to the truck itself let me show you something that can be extremely helpful to you guys I don't know how many of you guys out there have newer power strokes these upfitter switches right these things are very 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 nice to have uh, when you know how to use them if you don't know how to use them then it's kind of a pain in the butt however I was looking through forums and researching I mean it's it's already four in the afternoon and I'm just now getting to this I've been for like the last three hours trying to do research and figure out the, the color coding of the wires and the charts and everything and I finally got it figured out and uh, basically what I'm gonna do is show you how to wire your light bars and stuff or any accessories I guess up to these upfitter switches now these wires of course there's diagrams and forums and stuff they're kind of they tell you which ones are labeled for which switch and how much the ampage is rated for um, the all green and brown one is for 30 amp, 25 to 30 amp applications, which is what's gonna suit this 30 inch light bar a lot better. And of course there's my black wire coming out of my light bar harness, which is for my ground, which you do have to ground that. 
And then since this is a multicolored light bar, there's a red and there's a black wire. Now I'm prob I'm not entirely sure actually like how I want to wire this up. I'm trying to decide if I want to I probably what I'm probably going to do is wire the red one to a separate switch. Probably, I don't know if it's going to which which one I'm going to do it, but separate switch. So, you know, one of the switch turns on the blue lights and one of them turns on the white lights um where I can put them on the same one, but then they're all going to turn on at the same time which kind of defeats the purpose of having two separate lights for two different applications but what I did to test this would you have to go up underneath and these are the sw these are the uh, wires coming directly from your upfitter switches so you've got you know uh, switch one two three four you know whatever I don't know which one's which except for I know green and brown is number two because that's the one I've been trying to uh, nail down but anyways I just got that wire wrapped around there for testing purposes and then what I'm gonna do is I took in my other hand and there's a piece of metal, there's like a metal bracket right there. And so I just kind of took that and I like pinched the, the ground wire up to the bracket in there like that. Okay, just so I can test it. And so then I'm gonna have to reach over here. Now I got my key turned on. And if I can, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the camera as a tripod, but I use the tripod to flip up number two. And there you go, there's the lighting. But before I show you the truck, I first wanna say, this was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be on this truck. I honestly thought like this light bar was gonna be a pain in the butt to install because of the wiring through the firewall and everything. I was like, oh, this is gonna suck. But this was actually pretty freaking easy. So before I show you the light bar, I just wanna say a few things. First off, this light bar was supplied through Mick Tuning. Okay, so Mick Tuning sponsored this video. Check out this light bar in the description below. Other than that, let me just show you how I wire this up just so you guys can learn something from this in case you guys own one of these newer Super Duties. So there's the light bar on the front and man, does it look sharp. It actually looks really, really good in there. It fits perfectly between the tow hooks. And the reason I couldn't set it down there right in between level is due to these brackets, the way they come out right here. It's not a big deal, it's just, you know, that's why I can't sit down there, which honestly to us, that's not a huge deal if it sits in the top half, if it's perfectly leveled and centered out versus in the bottom half or center, it's not a big deal to us. But it wired up very easily. The wiring harness, I took it back behind there and I took three wires um, to wire this up. Basically on the inside here, what you're gonna have are your two wires right here. And I basically just took some, um, it's, I, th I don't know if it's 10, 12, 14 gauge, I don't know, I think it, I don't know. Anyways, it's a solid copper wire and I ran it all the way up into the cab, two strands of it, and hooked one up to the green and brown and one up to the yellow wire, which was hidden up underneath here, okay? There's gonna be four. There's gonna be your green and purple, your brown, your, sol your solid brown, your solid yellow, and your green and brown dominantly green. These are the two that I use, your green and brown and your yellow for this application being a heavier duty light bar versus like little cubes or fog lights, something like that. Anyways, those are directly powered to the switch. There are other wires you can use if you're not wanting to go through the firewall, but it was actually very easy. All I took was a screwdriver, poked a hole through this little rubber boot. Um, I didn't poke it through the boot, I actually just pressed on it and the screwdriver pressed the boot out right there. See the light poking through? Just pushed on it and then that opened up that gap. Then when you let off, it kind of seals itself back up. That's how I ran the wires into the cab. Those are your two wires supplying the power. I just took it and I ran it right along this factory um, harness, which actually goes down through here and zip tied it real snug. It actually looks very factory. Ran it down through behind the lights. Down, came out right here. There's like a factory hole down here right next to the bumper, right next to this uh, um, frame mount that you can see. And I ran three wires through there. Here's where the third wire went. It just went up here. This is my ground, just a 10 mil here. Um, just loosened it up, made like a horseshoe bend shape with that copper wire and hooked it around the bolt. Didn't take the bolt all the way out. And then I just tightened it back down and that's my ground. Anyways, those three ran out through there. Get down under here. You can see the harness here. I just hooked up my red wire to one of the black ones and my white wire to one of the other black ones. And then I just ran my ground, obviously, to my one wire that was going to this bolt. And then that's, that's it. That's all it was. Very, very easy, very straightforward and a very simple, simple process. So let me show you how this works. Very easy and I love these auxiliary switches. So you turn your key on, auxiliary one, and that should be the blue light, I think. No, white light, oops. Okay, yeah, so that's the white light. 
Looks very, very good. Very, very bright light. It's almost like a projector LED style. Gonna flip that off. Auxiliary two or upfitter switch two, whatever, whatever you guys want to call it. And there's your blue, your blue light, which looks very good. You, but wow, it looks really, really good on this truck. And we still have two more auxiliary switches there. And with those, since it is so easy, I've actually got some cubes that I'm gonna look into seeing if we can get them to swap out with those to give him some brighter fog lights as well. And the tools that I used to complete this job, an Allen set, which is just for those bad boys right there. Strippers, snips just to cut the wire, 10 millimeter, which is just for right here, or for the back of that bolt there, if you can get a wrench in there. Um, but I just use a 10 millimeter wrench to get on the back of the nut behind that uh, bolt holding on the bracket. A t uh, this is a 14 millimeter for these bolts just for the side of there. Screwdriver just to push that rubber plug through the firewall. Drill just to drill your holes through the brackets surrounding your tow hooks. Some butt connectors. Some spare wire. You probably want to use like 10 to 14 gauge, I would guess. And then I use a tape measure, and that's just to measure the gap from, um, because if you look in here, the bracket starts here, okay? And then I just measured over exactly two and three quarter inches over, and then marked my spot up on top on both sides to make sure that my bumper was, not my bumper, my light bar was perfectly mounted center up. I can't even reach the freaking hood. It's so tall. What the heck? Okay. But that's it. That's all she wrote. That's the that's the light bar install on this truck. So guys, that is all I had for you on this video. I haven't done one of these videos in so long, so I just thought, you know what, shoot. I'm just going to give it to him. Who cares? You know, I can put up with the comments. Anyways, light bar looks sick, so thank you so much, McTuning, for the light bar on this truck. Dually stuff is coming, so if you guys are getting anxious for dually content, yes, it is on the way. I'm sorry it's taking so long. Just kind of how it goes sometimes. Not always not always as planned, but we did just finish Nasty Red like two days ago, and Dad's actually driving that today. We just finished Nasty Red like literally yesterday in terms of under the hood power. Now it's still got to get transmission, body, rust, stuff like that. But in terms of under the hood, we just finished that, so we are about to start on one of these two trucks right here. A lot to do, a lot to do. And then I got to um, show you guys the manual giveaway truck here very soon as well. A lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff to get taken care of. Just wanted to let you know that this weekend, Friday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, we should have the wheels, tires, shocks, leveling kit, and all that stuff in for the automatic giveaway 12 valve. We're gonna try to get right in on that and get that stuff knocked out. I wanna make sure that truck is looking really, really good here so I can start to get that truck posted all over social media, get you guys hyped up, get you guys going, get you guys going crazy so everybody can get really hyped up for the giveaway and at least for that truck in the giveaway. It looks really good. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. If it did, smash that thumbs up, share this video with a friend, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Well, I've been doing things that they told me I could never do now. Never do, I can never do. I've been looking back and I'm the only one who ever knew. My dreams begin to turn out. I told them it's my turn out. They in the club and I'm in the studio. Guess they gonna learn now. Told myself I want it all, gotta get it all. Never gonna burn out.